Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about ulcerative colitis. The digestive system is an essential organ of the human body, as it digests food and excretes waste products. However, like other organs, he may be exposed to many diseases that might affect his function and affect human life. Ulcerative colitis, which is a chronic disease, is one of the most famous and most dangerous of these diseases. A chronic disease diagnosis can be scary, but learning all you can about your illness and how to manage your symptoms will put you on the path to better health and wellness. Our role today is to answer most of your questions regarding ulcerative colitis. Today we have Dr. Lee, who is a leading doctor at Hanyang University Hospital. He's going to discuss with us everything about ulcerative colitis from an experienced medical point of view. Hi, I'm Umay, and before we start, please subscribe to our channel so the next time you'll be updated with our new releases. Moving on to colitis or ulcerative colitis, okay, see. what is it? It's in a category that is similar to Crohn's disease. Of course, the cause is unknown for this also. Ulcerative colitis is also a disease that causes inflammation and ulcers in the large intestine. This is not in the stomach, esophagus, and small intestine, but only in the large intestine. And should I say that the symptoms are a bit milder than Crohn's disease? So it's a bit minor and the location is only in the large intestine. However, this also causes inflammation without knowing the cause. So you, you, it can happen without you knowing, like you said, right? So what are the symptoms then? So usually this occurs from the rectum in the large intestine and goes up. The first symptom is diarrhea, and because there is an ulcer, you will have bloody in your stool again. So diarrhea and bloody stool are the most common symptoms. So if you have repetitive diarrhea and bloody stool for several months without reason, then you should get a checkup. And how about the treatments? Likewise, fundamental treatment is difficult because the cause is unknown. So likewise, the treatment drug can be considered similar to Crohn's disease. Drugs that suppress inflammation, drugs that regulate immunity. Fundamental treatment is difficult because we don't know the cause, but we have to continue drug treatment. One good thing about ulcerative colitis is that it causes colon cancer. If there is no response or worsening after taking medication, the disease will appear after cutting the large intestine. So as a last resort, if it is uncontrollable no matter what medicine you use and the inflammation becomes severe, you can cut off the large intestine. Because people can survive with no large intestine without a problem. No problem. So that can be seen as one difference. So you said that it's hard to know if you have this disease. But is there a way to prevent it? Likewise, because the cause is unknown, it is difficult to prevent it. So in the same way, you can avoid oily foods and avoid antibiotics at a young age, as gut bacteria can play an important role. But it is said that prevention is not easy, because the exact cause is not known. Then, how about alcohol and smoking? Does it really affect? It is said that there is no significant link between them. But after all, alcohol and smoking can worsen symptoms after you are diagnosed with the disease. So it's not the cause of the disease, but it's one of the causes of worsening symptoms. So I think it would be ideal to avoid that. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. So today, the doctor explained in detail everything related to ulcerative colitis, including its symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. Thank you for joining us once again at Cloud Hospital TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll respond to you as soon as possible.